Hey, I'm Bob the Sound Guy again here, and I've got a great tip for all you very, very poor and uh, unprepared bass players. Uh, whenever you guys uh, go into the say you've been out late and uh, you know you had a studio gig in the morning and you forgot to go get bass strings or you just didn't have the money to go get bass strings, uh, here's a good old school tip for you. Boiling the bass string. So right now, because I'm one of those bass players, I have my strings and they're wrapped up in a nice uh, curly cue there. And we already have our, and no, I'm not making spaghetti, uh, although I will be doing that later, but not with the same water. Uh, so anyway, what you do is you get these in here, and you get that water boiling, get a good rumble boil going, and you stick them in there. And make sure, and when you do this, you keep the, if you have strings with uh, some of the fuzzy ends on them, make sure you keep the fuzzy ends out. Okay, because what's going to happen is, is they're going to get all fuzzy and the water is going to get covered and with these case purple stuff and it's going to get all over the strings and you're going to have a big huge mess. So what this is going to do, this is going to restore it to that almost piano-like tone uh, and, and do it relatively quickly. Now you can only do this like once or twice with one set of bass strings because they will stretch out and they will break. Um, but oh, uh, you let them anyway. boil for uh, five minutes and... Uh, and then you will eventually see like a little bit of a scum turn to the top. Uh, that's all the oils and the grease and the junk that's in your fingers uh, that gets in, in between the coils of the strings. Uh, and, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll pour that off and the strings, we'll pull the strings out and uh, they cool off very quickly. They won't burn so that you, it won't burn your hands. And uh, so there you go. There's your tip of the day. Old school tip for cheapo people bass players. So. Talk to you later, gang.